Hello everybody. Making a little update video on this on my tunnel ram project. Um, didn't get to work on this thing last week. Had some had some things come up, but um, anyway, you watched my previous video. You knew I, I was couldn't get my distributor in. Uh, I was checking the, the make sure that my linkage on the would work. My homemade linkage and all, but uh, fix my fix the firewall at the, where I can get the distributor in and out. Um, got the tunnel ram bolted on, sealed up. Um, I got my um, extra plate that to replace that spacer. I just went on ahead and bought a, um, a, a this kit right here. Comes with the with the jets. Everything I need to spray a hunter, hunter shot. Um, that's this kit right here is supposed to spray up to 200. I think I think that's what they said, but I'm not I I'm not going. I don't recommend spraying that much through them plates with them tunnel rams. They, they um you got them plates on a single plane spraying that much it gives, has distribution problems and. Um, if you don't send them in and have them flowed and have them have them fixed, where they spray equally across there, um, you're best you're better off spraying. I wouldn't spray no more than 150 shot on this, unless you know. You check your plug, read your plugs, and check keep an eye on everything. You might get away with. It. I never I never had no luck spraying a whole bunch of bunch of bunch of nitrous through those they like i say they're good they, they're perfect for 100 shot 75 shot they do good on 150 but after after that you, you just get you better cross your fingers anyway the, um i'll put them 29 5 by 10 5 w's back on here and my uh butt hurt box i'm not even going i'm not i'm not going to need nitrous anyway or, or a big shot of nitrous what I'm trying to do. Anyway, check out my $20 linkage. This screw and thread setup I got right here takes the place of, the, of a hem joint. These rods, they're not big and gaudy and all. They're just, they're just you got plenty of room in here. Um, they're not that hard to adjust. Um, you just take that, take that out. And you you can screw this in and out. And I'll, I will be doing that when I when I set to get carb get get the get everything equalized on these carburetors. But um, <clears throat> I'll put Loctite right there. Keep that thing from um, keep the screws from vibrating out. Anyway, so. You just take your coal roll, drill through it, tap it for that for that that 532 rod, and then you you tap your set of some threads crossways, and uh, it just pivots on that screw. You, I, I couldn't ask for a better working link, linkage. I mean, this thing don't get no bind. That's wide open throttle right there. The one thing I like about it, uh, you ain't, you don't worry about none of this coming loose. This is welded. That ain't that ain't breaking yet. That, that, that stuff is that's permanent. And you don't have that linkage down there in the bottom. That, that get that. That just it's just simple. Cable hooks directly to the to their arm. I've seen people at the racetrack or or not the racetrack, but on on the street with turnaround kits, and um, 
that, that thing, the arm down at the bottom give him a problem. It'll come loose. Or, or the, uh, it, it'll come loose on here and these arms will roll over and everything. The, I think the only thing that's going to happen to this is this cable breaks. And I got a, I got an extra cable right there in case it does. And Jig says them cables all day long. So, anyway. Yeah, it, it don't look as fancy as that $250 one, but, um, you can't you can't beat that for twenty dollars and a little bit of elbow grease i got a mini meal i i, I did all this stuff on a mini meal and a and a and a lay drilled and tapped in on a, on, a, on the metal lay in there boy that'll work for the girls i go out with I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna redo these fuel lines. Um, I think I'm gonna put like some some Earl's fuel line on it and move this regulator to the front. I don't I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the way that looks. Um, got got too many bends in it. I don't think I have a flow issue or anything, but it's just, um, I think it'll, it'll, it'll do a lot better if I move the, the regulator up to the very front there. And um, that way I can come. I know it'll make it a lot easier tuning them, tuning them carburetors with, them, with, them, with the Earl's lines, fuel line. Anyway, that's, why I, that's why I haven't got this hooked up. Plus I got a... Um, I gotta replace that fuel line there. Anyway. Alright. Let me get off here and um I guess I want to make a little update, let you know what what's going on. Um I'll post another video of Later on, I'll talk to y'all later.